Hello and welcome to a little photo editing quick tip. So this is just a very short tutorial in which I want to focus on one particular aspect of photo editing, checking the brightness of reflections. Because let's just look at this photo here of Nausa in Greece and Paros and you have the sky and the reflection taking up equal parts of the image and what you see is the sky is pretty dark but also so is the reflection. So just looking at it looks okay but for me it also looks a little off but I'm not 100% sure what it is. Now if you look at this area you see that here the reflection is, seems to be a bit brighter than the sky but you can't be 100% sure and what I think is important for reflections something you have to look out for is that the reflections should always be a bit darker than the objects or the sky they reflect. Otherwise it's just looking wrong. Sometimes you can't really make out what it is that looks wrong about such a photo if it's just a little difference but something's telling you there is something wrong like it is for example with this image and yeah, I want to show you how you can quickly check it. Just make sure that your reflections are darker and in Lightroom you can do it like this. So up here you can activate the highlight clipping and then what you just do is you go to the exposure slider and pull it up and then you pay close attention to which area starts clipping first the sky or its reflection and if I pull it up you see here the reflection starts clipping first. This means that this area is brighter than the sky that it reflects so this tells me this is wrong. Now let me show you the original photo because here I just played around with the photo to make it look wrong. So this is the original where the sky is actually brighter and you also see this but if I were to now do the same test here you can see how it should look. So the sky starts clipping first, pull over, then afterwards the reflection starts clipping. So this is how it should be with reflections and it's a very simple test you can do to make sure you didn't go too far with a photo or especially if you're using GND photos this is something that can happen that your sky is actually too dark if you have reflections in your photo. So it's always good to also have some bracketed exposure so you can bring down the reflections. So in addition to showing you this here in Lightroom I also want to show you how you can do this in Photoshop or if you can just hover over areas you see up here you will see the RGB values and percentages and this also tells you how bright a color or an area is. If you go down you see those values for the RGB are lower. This also tells you that the reflection in this example is darker than the sky but I find this other technique with this highlight warning gives you a clearer display of the brightness values in relation to each other. Well, let's just bring this photo here, the one where this was too dark, over to Photoshop. Go to Edit In, Adobe Photoshop. Now here in Photoshop we don't have the typical highlight warnings that we have in Lightroom but I'll show you in a second how you can create those and use the same approach. What you can also do in Photoshop is to use here the color sampler tool. Already when you start an edit you can go to an area in the sky, put a sample and then area the reflection, put another sample and then if you bring up here the info panel then you see number one, number two and yeah you should check that the second marker is darker. For this to work you should maybe create a bigger average because especially with such ripple reflections uh, it can sometimes happen that you select just a bright pixel if the sample area is too small. So go with like 11 by 11 average but already you can see that here sample one is darker than the second sample. So this is already giving you a good indication and you can keep those throughout an edit. They will tell you right away if you apply some curves or something to the sky or the foreground if you make this mistake with getting the reflection brighter than the reflected object. So another thing what you can do you can use a gradient layer. Let me quickly create one. Go down here to gradient map. Now what you can do you go here and select some colors which are a little more prominent. For example I go from red to some green. Press OK. Now I go here to the layer settings and what I do I pull down here the underlying layer to this direction and 
the other one I pull it up so I've shown this in past tutorials I use this as clipping warning I usually have it in place but what you can now also do if I know where to pull down this clipping warning you will see that the clipping shows first in the reflection for this image so you can do the same test as we did in Lightroom just the other way around there we couldn't move the clipping area we had a fixed clipping so we brought up the brightness of the image to show the clipping here we can just move the clipping triangle which we created and by moving it down we see that clipping happens first here in the reflection so this is the way you can check this in Photoshop yeah and that's already it with this little quick tip hope you found it interesting make sure that when you have reflections in your photos to check this check their brightness make sure that they're not brighter than the objects they reflect then your images will look more natural and yeah you get overall better results so thanks for watching if you like this leave a thumbs up and see you in the next video bye